Hey, right, welcome back to I can play dogfights. Um, we got the nose MK2. We're gonna play it again because we need the stray. It's not that he's resisting it. Even if you hit, if you hit something, even if you resist, you'll get a prompt saying resist or something. Like here it says like critical and a damage number. The thing we have here is that the shot goes through, but it's not even indicating that we landed the hit. It's like we just completely missed it. For those watching on YouTube, I have no idea what we're talking about. This weapon occasionally doesn't seem... See, there it was again. Occasionally seems to just not work properly. <laughs> See, if you hit, you get a damage indicator. Whether it deals damage or not, you get a hit indicator. Sometimes you just don't get that. That is BS. As if... Photon damage isn't getting shafted enough as it is right now. It occasionally just doesn't do anything. <laughs> the salt is real. Alright, but since apparently it's a known bug, there's no need to report it. Um, the MK1 is... I have some up on uh, the YouTube. I go time up. Newly spawned enemies can attack for up to plus 8 seconds. Most Boston plus 1 extra second between... <laughs> Seconds to target you between attack phases, 5% slower enemy attack rate, minus 10% escalation. Or we can just get a big ass beefy gun. Damage plus, damage sway down. Is that good? That's too many missiles. Can we get a flyer or something? Thank you. Eight damage. That is a lot of damage, actually. <laughs> flying here. There we go. Okay. So, what's the interest in uh, and, yeah, well, I runs? You're just wanting to see everybody else struggle. Ah, I should have left. Well, we already bought a gun, so I guess loss of swag isn't too too bad. Oh, cool. Just one island, right? I think so. I love how this weapon can keep the ship afloat for like so much longer if you just shoot it downwards. It's like, yeah. Who needs engines when you have a big recoiling gun? Yeah, 
accuracy is a little bit important here, so I'm going to switch to that one for a while. Uh, instant jump dash with shield recovery. I don't want this because it means it becomes pretty damn difficult to uh, dodge beams, I feel. For me personally, that is. This might not be the case for others, but it is certainly a problem for me. Well, I gotta take these guys down, right? Greed or not. A ship that starts with this thing? <laughs> I don't know. It. Yeah. If you ever go up against the. Uh... What's his face? His name? The tether. We're just gonna be screwed. Yeah, nuke is, would be one of those as well. <clears throat> the idea. The only reason I was considering it uh, was because I had the idea that the. Um, No, nah, weapons were, were more than fine on weapons. Um, the idea was that the uh, photon weapon that we start with might negate the shooting down part. Um, but I think only up to a certain extent, so... My goodness, imagine if you had to fight the, uh, what's it called, Sailor Former? Good lord. You'd be screwed at that point. Would it even be possible to do it? I guess you can go up into the clouds, but... It sounds like a one-way trip to taking a hit. wondering about this. It comes with uh, escalation lowering as well. If I could get both of those, that would be kind of cool. Oh good, it's Bodhi again. Hooray! The salt is real. And the recoil from the... Uh, from the weapon here is actually allowing us... To fly past that at a pretty decent speed. Okay, I think we got the hack part. Uh, or the jump hack off. Yeah, we definitely did. Okay. Whoop. 
Let's have a look. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. It means there's really no excuse anymore for getting hit. There we go. <laughs> Comedic effect. Go! What the heck was up with those missiles? Like they ran out of fuel or something. Like, bleh, I'm done. <laughs> I give up. Jesus, Jesus. He's almost dead. Final volley, I would imagine. There we go. Scatter away, cluster pierce, blah blah blah. Fires heavy connect shots, good accuracy for scatter weapon. Yeah, but it's not as good as. Oh, accuracy up and shot speed up. Fire rate down, though. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let's get this thing as well. I'm interested in how well this would affect us. I guess I should have bought that, huh? Collisions have enemies take plus six point variation damage, plus one collision damage dealt. Mirror restored. I guess that shows up every single time. Because I don't think the fight that we just had had any form of uh, photon damage. Also, this mission can show up in wave 2. Well, area 2. Huh. I thought that was 3 or further. Well, I'm alright with it. Oh, look, it's the shot displacer again. Mm. Can we see how much charge this thing actually has? 1800 and it gains what 0.5 per second so one every two seconds times 1800 that's 3600 seconds does that mean this thing takes would take an hour <laughs> Putting it into that kind of perspective really makes me not want it anymore. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, don't worry, it only takes an hour to charge. Right oh. I guess for the missile pods and whatever it would be uh, useful, but. Resisting the cascade damage.
Gladiator Aegis. Ooh, 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 this thing. Um, apparently it's not as good anymore, though. Enables beam parrying. <clears throat> so that's something that changed as well. I'm not going to take it, I think. The shield was pretty OP when I first used it, but that was because it didn't have... Um, like health. Now that it has health, I think you're just better off with uh, your regular jump. Then again, mm, are we going to be fighting a lot of stuff that has missiles we can redirect? We're only in zone 2, which is a bit of a surprise, honestly. Hmm. Well, I've used it before. I know how it works, and it is indeed quite uh, an adaption. Yeah, I think I might just get it. Besides, I know somebody who's going to be happy if I test this thing out for a bit. And I can still jump. Okay. <laughs> um, so much for an alternative playstyle, I guess. Yep. Oh. Eh, there we go. That's weird. I didn't want to... Uh, whatever. So, what's in here that we would like? Um, yeah. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> of course. I was thinking about the HP upgrade as well, but uh, we could be going to the city next. Uh, we don't have explosive weapons though, nor do we have the nuke, so maybe civilian casualties won't be that big of a problem for us. So, the game mentioned enables beam parry. Does that mean we can now beam parry with this thing? Because if not, we're going to have a problem for the final boss. And the, uh, well, space tether. Oh god, what have we done? Um, well, I got jet black paint, so I can at least dodge one of those. Right? And by dodge, I mean take it to the face. Oh yeah, rad collisions.
You can kind of tell that. Hello, Death Laser. Yeah, one of Death Laser, the other one, something. I'm intrigued to pick this up, though, because I kind of do want extra health. We don't really... The death laser would be good if we have to go after our suits again. Let's temporarily switch to you again. Seeing how accuracy is important here. And there it goes again. God. This is why nobody... Well. Oh, hello. Oh, right. I can't jump anymore. <sighs> I guess that's one thing we forgot. Gotta stay away from low terrain as well as stuff like that. Oh wait, there's still a flag gun. I was wondering why I couldn't leave. Oh, now I know there's an AWOC flying around. It's a bit greedy to try and go for it, but... It never stopped me before. Please don't be the hammer, please don't be the hammer, please don't be the hammer. Uh, photon duplex. Yeah. Is it any good? Damage, fire, yep. <laughs> it's a good one. Well, yeah, but we're not using it too often, right? We've been using uh, the chain gun quite a lot. So if you get enough money, I will pick up this. Whoa. Is it supposed to do that? This thing is just melting the bosses. Holy crud. That's, that's a bit much, isn't it? Holy crud. I thought it was just a twin shot. Not the destroy all the things. Certainly pretty potent. <gasps> you know, I really need shields, but you can't say no to the flamicorn. You just can't, all right? There's just no way. You gotta get it. Random bomb's gonna kill me. Jump cooldown. Don't want that. Well, uh, okay. Uh, more accuracy. Yes. Just one big jet stream of death. And we have just enough for that. Jump cooldown, a shield cooldown. No. Oh, yeah, it is. He's like dead. Die. Kill. <laughs> Get out of here. We're speedrunning, boys. 
Well, we're not speed running. I hate speed running, but we could. Especially when we keep getting missions like this. Probably got an order to evacuate, right? So the left thing is better crits, which would actually go well with the starting weapon, but, you know, we're not going to go back with that. The right one is just everything better, and I think the top one is HP. I think we might take the right one. All stats up. Does that mean damage as well, though? Uh, yeah, I'll show you... Actually, I can show you right now, right? The, the description is something that we can see here. A personal favorite of mine, heavy photon barrels can be fired individually, allow for more flexibility in terms of damage output over time. Yes, even though we're just going to go blah and it shoots out everything. Flexible light, your scatter weapon, fires large barrage of medium damage, shield pushing shots, second barrage is fired once you release the trigger, followed by a relatively long reload time. Um, is it though? What happens if you, like, click really quickly? Wait, so I click? Oh, yeah, okay. Why would you... Oh, why would you hold, though? That's what I'm wondering about. Gotta go! I mean, we're pretty much boss-ready at this point. <gasps> it's the plate! This thing is fun. Um, let's take it just for the heck of it. Ooh, and it's yellow. Well, yellow-ish, I guess. Bleh. Hey, you. Bye now. Oh, wow, they survived. Look at that. There you go. What are we doing here? Come here, you little twerp. I ain't running from this one. Sorry, was you looking at me? I didn't think so. Move it, move it, move it. Defeat your rival. Alright. I need another gun here. There we go. Yeah, I think this would be a good counter, assuming the shots actually hit. And by that I mean register as hit. Yeah, he's not really getting much luck. Uh... Hitting me whilst we're doing okay hitting him.
I guess I should be happy that we're not fighting the tether. Goodbye. Danger zone. Oh, this is a duplicating one, right? F yeah, the split gun. This is the one I was. I originally thought uh, this thing was. Phase proxy cluster hyperspace grenade. If has explosive weapon that deploys hyperspace payloads, H payloads phase through obstacles remain unaffected by gravity and fires 360 degree perm proximity triggered. Ah, words, I know. Shut up. Okay, we've seen this one a few times already, so let's see what this one does. I'm not guaranteeing I'll be using it for long, but... What the... Ugh. This just sounds like disaster waiting to happen. Like, how will you not hit yourself with that? Also, the noise! Ooh, maybe pay attention to what I'm actually doing. Shield can still block quite a few shots, actually. It's not as... Badly... Wow, okay. Come here, suit! <laughs> You're going down. Okay, 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 you win. No, you don't. Coming back from you. I don't need to do that. Yeah. But it's fun. Yeah, death laser, right. I like the death laser because... Uh, you just need to get lucky once in order to kill a suit, for instance. <clears throat> but if you have a damage output like this, then yeah, who needs a death laser? Coincidentally, I've killed more shops than I would care to admit. Okay, come on. one more, and there we go. Is there like something uh, you can get for beating the game under what the heck, dude? For beating the game under a certain amount of escalation? I'm assuming that amount is gonna. It's gonna be 400, because that's the one you can't reach anymore. 
Hack objectives are completed, plus six. Yeah, we might as well get it. Blech. But it's not gonna matter. Speak a There you go. Who's next? Give me a little twerp. I know the gun has crit chance, but uh, we won't be getting anything out of the... Uh, okay, won't be getting anything out of the... Uh, fact that it removes debuffs from processing... Uh, items. <clears throat> I guess we can find some now, but mm, probably not, right? Mobile anti-air. Which don't have shields yet. I approve of this. Me, me. Gotta go. Yeah, which is weird. Why would it affect shields? I guess it's count counted as a weapon of sorts. Because they are aiming that stuff at you. Wow, you dodged all of those? Congrats. Oh, hey, suits. Thought you would be safe because the store is here, huh? Wrong. You're all gonna die. Because I feel like... Taking my vengeance upon the... I don't care that I got it. I got my health back anyway. <laughs> oh, look, we can get... Yay! Invade War Room Shell. Alright. Okay, so a Flawless here would be cool, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Um, I think if we want to Flawless on this guy, we need some form of EMP, I think. Or at least a proper jump. Nope, oh, got hit by missiles. Can't blame the jump on that. So that should unlock the stray, right? Yep, the no stray. Cool. <laughs> Sub 40, not bad. Is where somebody comes in and goes like, well, if you went to uh, Endless 6, you would have unlocked this ship's starting weapon. Fudge you. <sighs> Still, though, we're cruising through quite well. So, the stray. Those are meant to be more of a challenge, right? Is that a hat? No, that's just a frowny guy, right? Eh, potato, potato. So yeah, the stray is supposed to be a challenge. We're kind of wondering what this one's going to be. So far, all of these have started with 
a laser weapon so that immediately makes them quite good in my opinion but we'll have to wait and see what it is so for now thank you guys for watching hope you're still in the series of free shows probably coming liking and or something if you already i'm seeing you guys on the next episode bye everyone